But if you close your eyes Hey guys, so it is a Tuesday morning. It's 9.46 and I'm off to go do my morning cardio. So yeah, so it's pretty, it's chilly outside. I don't, I don't know how, how I'm feeling about the, the weather change yet. I can't get used to it. Cause I just got over like that cold that I had last week. And I hate it. I'm still like stuffed up from it. Still recovering. So it's looking like a good day today. I'm about to go do, do some, do my cardio I work I know I have class from 1240 to 2 then I work from 3 to 9 or 3 to 8 I think and then I'm probably gonna go to the gym after work because I got I have to do back I just I don't feel like doing it this morning I just I don't feel like I'd have a good workout if I went because I, I, don't, I don't I don't go to the gym like if I feel like if, if I feel like I'm gonna go and I'm just gonna bullshit then I'm just I'm gonna I'm gonna hold it off till later in the day, get my mind right, and then try again. But yeah, all right, I'm about to go knock this cardio out, and I'll see y'all after that. All right, so we're back. All right, just got done with cardio. As you saw, like I did, like 30 minutes. I just I always try to just like there's no time limit on it I just did 30 minutes but I usually just try to hit 400 calories right now it usually takes me from 25 30 minutes so that's done uh, I'm going to the car wash now my car was sitting in the sun and it was just looking it was it was so dirty so I'm gonna take it there real quick I got a car wash membership it's easier to go more often I usually try to go like once a week but I just I hit that up you get free vacuuming all that so I'm gonna do that what else so as you saw in uh when i weighed myself i'm 222 and i believe where it's been we're on like week four since i started and i'm down five pounds so i I'm, i've been aiming for like one to two pounds a week because last time when i first lost all my weight i did it i was losing i was losing too much weight too fast i was losing like three or four pounds a week just from like how my diet was set up so I'm not trying to do that again like I'm, I'm trying to lose it on a slower term so that way it's a lot more just I'm not losing muscle and I know when I do drop weight that it is fat so that, that's why like I've only, I'm only down five pounds in week four but I'll take it like it's progress slowly I'll probably bump up the cardio next week to about like 500 calories so add it'll I'll probably add like five minutes to my cardio that way like my weight just keeps dropping because like the last thing i want to do is like I, I like to eat so i don't want to cut out you can either cut out food or you can do more cardio i'd rather do more cardio i, just, I love to eat and eating less is just i don't want to do that i'll probably go home and cook something i think do i have anything i might have to go to the store actually because i think i'm out of food i'm out of my chicken my ground turkey yeah we're going to the store so like when you pull up you gotta like line your wheels up and like this insert they have i don't know like i, ne I never do it right the first time but yeah. and we're done all right so i, I did want to like speak on the cardio my cardio session a little bit more just so like so y'all know like how I do my cardio so what I do is I do a five minute warm-up and I always before I even get into that I always when I when I'm cutting I always do fasted cardio so I don't eat before I go and then I do do I do do I do do hit cardio so I'll do a five minute warm-up and then from five minutes I do I do one minute interval or do 30 second intervals of hit and then one minute of like just I guess your cool down so I'll go as hard as I can for 30 seconds and then I'll just go like medium pace for a minute and I do that all the way up till I hit my calorie count so if I'm doing 400 so like every 30 like 30 seconds I'm going hard one minute I'm just I'm, I'm strolling 
Then after that minute, 30 more seconds hard, and then another minute in the stroller, and I just do that all the way up until I hit my number of calories that, that that's that I'm aiming for. And that's how I do my cardio. It's just I always, I, sometimes like I usually get on the I'm, I'm always on the elliptical, and then just like all like there's you know, the only way you're gonna get through like cardio is if you bring something to do. You have to bring something to do, whether it's a book, you're watching Netflix playing a game on your phone wherever you can whatever you can do that allow you to still give a hundred percent in your cardio and then keep your mind off of it like for me I have a little game on my phone that I play but like even though I'm playing that it doesn't distract me from like actually performing my cardio like just because I'm playing the game doesn't mean I'm, I'm I'm just cooling it for an extra minute no I still in my mind that because it's like, I don't know, it turns into like a kind of pattern, I guess you can say, just like it's habit to just like, you, when you look up a minute, you go hard. But yeah, so bring, bring your bring your phone and like watch Netflix or something. Like if you think about it, like if you're doing a 35, 40 minute cardio session, like it's a, that's a great time to catch up on some show, some shows. Uh, bring, bring like gum. If you chew on gum, it'll just keep, just anything to distract your mind to like talk you out of uh, doing cardio. Cause I know like sometimes like if I, if I don't bring my phone or like I mean I have my phone but if I'm not watching Netflix or I'm not playing the game and I'm really just doing cardio just looking at the, the numbers I'll be five minutes in before I'm telling myself like yo I'm, I'm done. Chicken breast on so I'm gonna go with that. And chicken, some ground turkey, three things of broccoli, and I think that's gonna be it. Oh yeah, and two power crunch bars. I can't wait to get home and cook this. I'm so hungry. Ground turkey season, chicken season. Oh, I can't wait. So on over here, I'm gonna show you something I do every morning. Apple cider vinegar. So I'll pour up a shot, pour it in here, water, oh dude, it stinks. Alright, so I do this every morning and I do it sometimes like two to three times a day, just depends, but every morning for sure, because it's very good for your digestive system it just helps you digest your food it just it gives you like a bunch of energy it's nasty as hell but just every morning i take it before i eat anything usually after the gym just because like i don't want to if you take it before the gym it's, it's it sits heavy on your stomach because i mean it's vinegar so it's like it's real acidic so it'll just make your stomach hurt if you drink this and go to the gym so it just it really just helps you just keep like a flat stomach helps your digestive system just digest all that food you eat throughout the day so yeah one two times daily every morning so that cook up the food i'm probably gonna have a power crunch bar to hold me over till it's done because i have an hour for the chicken and probably like 30 minutes for the ground turkey so i'm gonna have one of these protein bar peanut butter what is a peanut oh peanut butter fudge i couldn't read it backwards peanut butter fudge uh 12 grams of fat 10 grams of carbs, 13 grams of protein, and it's 200 calories. Perfect little protein snack. All right, guys, I'm gonna eat this. Head to class, have an hour, and then from class to work. So I will see y'all after work. Cheers. Off to work we go. Hey everyone, we're off work. So now it's uh, 8.30. Got off a, a little bit late. But hopping on the interstate now, heading to the gym. About to, I, I, got, I got some coffee from work with like four shots of espresso in there that I'm gonna drink 
on the way there. Just because I, I need a little energy right now for this workout after that day. So yeah, on the way there, about to hit the back workout. But all right, I'll see y'all there for my workout. What's up y'all? So just got done with my workout. Quick little back and by. It's about 10 o'clock now. And I'm just sitting outside, sitting on top of my car, just enjoying this weather. It's just nice, just clearing my mind, thinking. Just life's just been so stressful lately. I'm just, I'm just trying not to stay down. I, I don't know, I've, I've been down the past few weeks. I don't, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not one to just be negative and just like oh, I want people to have sympathy for me and just things like that. I'm not I'm not really like that. If I if I'm down, I just kind of keep it to myself and just kind of figure out on my own how I'm gonna get through it and all that. But I don't know. Any, some other people might relate. But just like I don't know. Like when when you're just feeling down and just nothing's going right. Like it's so easy to just stop everything you're doing and not do anything just to lay in bed all day stop doing your favorite hobbies cut people out of your life it's all like just things that just won't that it doesn't it's not good for you because if you're already down the last thing you want to do is just cut everything else out that brings you happiness like when i'm feeling down i don't want to work out but it's one of my working out is my favorite thing to do it's the highlight of my day but when I'm down it's the last thing I want to do but it's the last thing I want to do is to just lay in bed and just just have my mind just it's just so much stuff on my mind to where I'm just in my room or something and I'm just I feel like I'm going crazy so if any if you ever just if you're feeling down just you just got to get back up just be optimistic just know that everything 
it, it, it all it eventually gets better in time no matter what you're going through no matter if it's a breakup you lost your job it's whatever it is like it will get better it is, where you're at right now is temporary just don't always forget that that's one thing I always keep in mind where, where you're at right now is temporary there's so much more ahead of you to look forward to don't be stuck on the past just live for the moment and just know that where you're at right now is temporary and there's, there's more out there to see there's more out there to do there's things you'll get to experience there's just so many different things that's going to bring you just happiness and it's all it will come it, it'll come to you so i just wanted to talk on that a little bit because that's just some things that have been on my mind just trying to just stay motivated to make sure like i don't lose track of my goals i don't i don't lose vision just trying to get all the negativity out of my head out of my life and just have positive people around me positive things just everything like that just i don't i don't want anything negative in my life that's just going to bring me down and just make make where i make what where, where i'm trying to achieve my goal i don't want anything in my way that's stopping me because like i don't you don't want some negative people in your life or negative things that are just going to stop you from where you're trying to be, where you're trying to get to. It's just things like that I was just thinking about, and I just wanted to share that with y'all because I just wanted to share that with y'all because I'm sure other people out there can relate. And it's because it's just it's one of those things that everyone goes through. And just keep that in mind, y'all. It's just like tonight. I didn't like like this morning. I didn't go to the gym because I was tired. I didn't get up and I didn't get myself motivated enough to go so I, I waited till tonight and then on the way here I honestly didn't even want to go it's it just but I, I, I just I told myself I was like someone out there is just as tired as I am just as demotivated as me but they still made it to the gym to do what they needed to do and I'm not and there's someone there's someone else out there that's always working just as hard as you and that's one don't don't be outworked don't let them outwork you don't all right so and i'm gonna end it with that and i'll see y'all later